Hi guys. A little bit more on the mushroom spore prints. In the last video I showed you we got this spore print from that mushroom. This one I'd put upstairs in my little alcove that I do time-lapse photography on, but gave up because nothing was happening. It's a closed cup mushroom and I was hoping that it would open up and it didn't. So what I've done is pulled the stalk out and we can see the spores have been trying to come out through the middle. So I was thinking I might just cut around there to remove the, uh, the cover and then put that down and leave it and see if we get anything from there. It is a matter of whether I can cut this cleanly enough. I don't think that's sharp enough. I'll go and see if I've got something sharper. Okay, let's try this. sort of cheating really. But we'll leave that one now. Did another bit drop out? Well we'll leave it like that. So that's what we've just trimmed out of the edge. Those should have curled back so that the spores could come straight out. But we'll leave that like that. In fact, what we will do is we'll turn that right around that way. So that then when I want to come and do the final summary, I can lift that over. We'll have the spore print there, the mushroom there, and my usual logo or whatever up there. Uh, today is the 9th of October. I expect I'll leave that for at least a day to make the print. I showed you this spore print a few days ago. After I did it, I put the mushroom back down on here, on the paper, to see if we got any more. That was after about 24 hours. So this is now after uh, two days, three days. Well, right, well, that one's gone mouldy on the underside. But we did get a little bit more of a print out of it. But not as well defined as the first one. And that's quite light and dry now. And then over here, this is the closed cup mushroom that I cut the bottom off. Uh, better zoom in a bit, I think. very much at all. That's curled over again where it's dried out because I've actually cut that clear. So we've only got the tiniest bit of a spore print. Right, using the macro lens now. see some of the detail. The reason for doing this was I was asked if you could do spore prints with shop-bought mushrooms, ones that had been through the refrigeration process. And 
Well, the answer is yes, a bit. <laughs> but not quite as nice as the original one I got out of the garden. Thanks for watching. If you like that, then you might like this. And if you like this and that, you might like to subscribe over there. <laughs>